All right, so let's put the head back together. New perspective for that. Grab my back of my head here. X. That should snap it right back into place. Okay, then I'll jump into the front view and I'll see that it doesn't quite match up. All right. The only thing that it's really missing is the vertice on the back of the head needs to be shrunk up a little bit more. So. Do that just like that. There might be some other things that need to be moved, but let's jump into the front or the side and move those. So marquee select this. See how I'm marquee selecting? And remember, we inserted some edge loops in these. So we'll have to insert the same amount of edge loops in the head to match. Now I could have actually kept the base mesh on there, you know, moved around the polygons, but really I always find them to get in the way, uh, at least like the side and the front. So just chopping off the front of the face it helps quite a bit. Now when you scale something like this, you scale it this way and this way, but you do not scale it in the center. If you scale it in the center, you will have a big hot mess. This is also where you can start refining these a little bit more. And I can also refine the face a little bit more. When you move things, you can move them via edge, like that, and just make sure that your edge loops do go all the way around, see? So I know this laugh line is going to go right about here. Keep that chin very general. Now you see another edge loop would be nice right here. And look for these tick marks. There's these things that you can look out for. Um, the corner of the mouth where the the two forms meet if you keep these in mind you have no problem whatsoever and I only I issue these at the very change of those forms also notice how I'm selecting this geometry I'm doing a marquee select every time this will ensure that I have both vertices 
every time I go to select. This will make it so I don't have to mirror again. Generally, I leave the character noseless for a little while until I get a very happy blank character. Whenever I see something like this, I be careful because uh, it's telling me I stretched out that polygon too much. And it really shows up in x-ray mode. It's a very handy thing. Now sometimes you're going to find that, you know, it's not a perfect match. If I move this down, will it, will it match better in the side view? You know, not every uh, orthographic front and side matches up perfectly. I will say that. And this is not about recreating Loomis's drawing into a, a character. It's more like just restructuring the head so it's a little bit better in the later stages. All right, perfect. Okay, so let's now stitch it together. So there's a character without a without any kind of ears or nose. Kind of looks like this. No ears or nose. There's that shading issue I said right there. So what we're going to do is end up splitting the character down the center again. We do this a lot, you should get used to it. And let's first attach the head. Victor. Okay, so what I'm doing here is grabbing a vertice, victoring it over. And if I don't have an edge loop, like this one right here, control R to insert an edge loop. See my hotkey video. So I'm just grabbing a vertice, snapping it using V, Victor on the keyboard. Combine those. So I'm just grabbing all these vertices, 
and doing a merge even though I only need those ones in the center and then just double checking if that works using control R sure enough it did so I'm starting to get these highlighting issues here's the vertices that are highlighted I'm just gonna click and drag then click over here and that will deselect everything All right, now I'm just going to use some common sense and straighten some of this stuff out orthographically. And I really do use that shading as a way of seeing if things are stretched out too far. And just kind of rounding these off. There we go. That's a much better blank head. For this stage, it, it is better to do it in a sculpting program like Mudbox or Blender than it is to take too much time here because that way you can you can rotate it around it a little easier and these things have become a huh, second nature in a, a sculpting program in Maya you're just pushing polygons around and you're like huh that looks better at that angle but if you turn it a corner it looks like crap so don't hang out here too much doing this when you can do it so much faster in other programs center pivot dog victor and edit duplicate special. Okay, let's jump in the front. Grab both of these. Vertices. Mesh, Merge. Again, check your work. Make sure that you can insert an edge loop in certain areas uh, just to see that everything is combined correctly. Sure enough, it is. All right, now that we're at this stage, let's go on to the next in the next video.